Hello friends, welcome to my channel My Inspiring Thoughts by Upadriti. Today, walk along my temple journey to the state of Chhattisgarh. Did you know a fascinating fact about this central region of India? It borders seven states namely Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Odisha, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Interestingly, I'm sure you remember walking along with me on my temple journey to all the seven states. From Raipur airport, I headed straight to the famous Bhoramdev temple which is a good three hours drive. As I approached the temple, I was mesmerized by the sight of the majestic complex rising up into the sky. As I walked closer, I could see the architectural excellence in the carvings on the exterior. Truly a scintillating poetry in store. The design features erotic sculptures distinctly resembling the Khajurahu temple style so it is popularly known as the Khajurahu of Chhattisgarh. Are you aware that this temple is older than the famous one at Khajurah? This is a complex comprising four temples dedicated to Lord Shiva. The main shrine is the Bhoramdev temple built in stone. On the left side is the Ishtalik or brick temple which I could see was in a dilapidated condition. On the right, I could see the newly built red-colored shrine dedicated to Lord Hanuman. As I entered the main Garbhagraha through the passage, I had a good darshan of Lord Shiva in the Linga form. As I came outside, I spent quite some time admiring the details of the intricate carvings on the exterior of the main temple. I could just imagine the artisan's creativity in that era. Then I went to the Madhva Mahal which is a kilometer away. This was originally a Shiva temple but due to its shape like a marriage Shamiana, it came to be known as Mandava Mahal in the local dialect. It has a unique Shivalinga erected over 16 pillars. The longest temple in this complex is the Cherki Mahal which is situated in a forested area. However, I could not visit it. From here, I left for the Mahamaya Temple in Ratanpur which is about 150 kilometers away close to Bilaspur. On reaching my destination, I could see this architectural delight situated near a huge water tank which is being built in the Nagara style of architecture. The white colored dome is the prominent feature that catches the eye. A popular legend says that Raja Ratnadev visited the region and took rest on a tree when the night fell. In the middle of the night, he woke up to see a supernatural light under the tree and found Adi Shakti Mahamaya holding a meeting there and thereafter he lost consciousness. Later, he decided to make Ratanpur his capital and constructed the temple of Sri Mahamaya Devi. The temple is believed to have been built in the 11th century. The guardian deity is considered to be Kal Bhairav whose shrine is located on the approach road. Did you know that originally Goddess Kali was also here along with Goddess Mahalakshmi and Goddess Saraswati? It is believed that later Goddess Kali left. So today there are only two deities in this temple. I entered the Garbhagraha feeling all the history surrounding the place. I stood in front of the devis with folded hands and offered my prayers. I exited this holy place with a deep sense of spiritual satisfaction. 
from here i decided to go to the ancient bhuteshwar mahadev temple about 230 kilometers away after a journey of 5 and a half hours i reached this remarkable temple in the marauda village near gariaband upon reaching i could immediately see what makes this temple so unique i was awestruck seeing this huge shivalinga made of a single rock are you aware that it is the largest natural shivalinga in the world which grows in size every year it is really a magnificent structure and very beautiful to look at after a peaceful darshan i could correlate to the religious significance of this wonderful place the serenity is enhanced by the picturesque surrounding forest from here i returned to the capital city raipur to indulge in a little bit of material pursuits first i went to pick up some traditional kosa silk sarees for this region the variety of designs and colors were simply amazing so i had to satisfy myself with buying a couple of sarees next i strolled in the bazaar and picked up some wonderful traditional handicraft pieces after a hectic and satisfying day i decided to try out some of the local cuisine i really enjoyed a variety of authentic local food items like the sabudana khichdi muthiya chila and amar visiting chatisgarh was indeed a splendid experience hope you enjoyed this spiritual experience of the temples of chatisgarh namaskar till we meet again in our next temple journey